make my blood boil. Here we go. My head is stuck in the clouds. She begs me to calm down, says boy. Quit fooling around. I swear to God, man, I want to build a time machine, find whoever invented this phrase, get hitched to his daughter, and beat the shit out of her in front of him. <laughs> hey, this ass whooping on your baby girl is really working up an appetite, sir. I think I'm going to get something to eat later and drink some milk to wash it down, huh? Hmm? Huh? Disgusting motherfucker. This phrase is just disgusting to say the least. Why would you want to associate eating or drinking something appetizing with the phrase washing it down? To me, it just sounds like, Oh, I stuck my tongue up dog's ass and ate its shit. Then slurped its dick while it pissed down my mouth to wash the tapeworts down. That's not even close to how gross I see that phrase as. It's just sickening. I don't know why. I just can't put my finger on it. Or finger in it. Ha ha. If I ever become a dictator, I'm gonna make that phrase illegal. And punish anybody who says it to death by jamming a fire hose down their throats and spraying their insides full blast so their disgusting sayings can be washed out. I love the view from up here. Warm sun and wind in my ear will watch the world from above as it turns to the rhythm of love. Okay, so imagine this. You're sitting down in class with me and we're talking to each other about some stupid topic that doesn't really matter. Then out of nowhere, I decide now's the perfect time to start practicing my beautiful singing skills like... Take me into your loving arms. Kiss me under the light of a thousand stars. Oh, darling. You like the rock because you t suck my cock. Now, even though that was beautiful... There's a time and a goddamn place, dude. There have been multiple times where I've talked to someone in a public setting, and somewhere in our conversation, I'd say something to trigger them into thinking we were in some sort of musical, and basically cause them to embarrass both me and them in front of a bunch of people around us. Like, here's an example. How you doing, Eric? How you doing? Fine. Yeah, so, uh, what, what you been doing lately? Um, playing games on my phone. Playing games on your phone? Um... Wait, did you just say games? Mm-hmm. So, what happens when you don't want to play that game anymore? Do you click game over? I turn off my phone and I plug it so in. So, that, that would basically mean you're saying game over, right? Yeah. Life is for TV score and forevermore! Stop complaining and start changing it! Don't talk about it! Just be about it! Don't ever doubt it, even when your brain is clouded! I may be crazy! All right, just get the hell out of here. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. How did that make you feel? But to be honest, it was uncomfortable. <laughs> get the fuck. Thank you. Now do you see how awkward that was? Now imagine if that were in a public setting or something, and everybody looked at you while the person sung. And imagine if the person that was singing, unlike me, wasn't actually good. That just makes the situation a lot worse. I remember the last time someone did that shit to me, just to get me embarrassed. I had to play it off like I didn't know who they were singing to, even though they were just staring directly at me. I just looked around while their eyes pierced into my flesh and tried my hardest not to slap them in their face with all my strength like, WHAM! This ain't no goddamn musical faggot! This is math class. My heart beats like a drum, a guitar string to the strum, a beautiful song to be sung. Some people are gay, some people are transgender, some people are pansexual, and others may be forksexual. Those are all characteristics of people that both don't hurt anybody and can't be changed. Well, I guess I mean the trans thing is changeable, that's the whole point, but you get what I mean. Probably. Look, if you're an asshole, there's really nobody you can blame but yourself. If you're an asshole, then you are 100% capable of being not an asshole. There is no, I have anger issues, so it is impossible for me not to be a piece of shit. Looks like I'm just your problem. I swear, man, I know too many people like this, and it just pisses me off. Just like, like, just admit to it, man. Oh, my father was an asshole and a terrible husband to my mom, so that's why I have no other choice but to beat up my wife. Oh, I shut the hell up. That's right, you listen to me. Okay. Look, everybody has struggles in life. Some big, some small. I get that sometimes things in life can drive you to make actions that you aren't that proud of. But you can't just sit and talk like there's a literal gun being held against your head preventing you from making yourself a better person. People go through challenges and issues throughout life. That's unchangeable. But the person you make yourself and the way you react to the situations are not unchangeable. Which means they are changeable. So don't be surprised if you act like a dick to the wrong person and they punch you square in the face. And for that, you can only thank yourself. Why do I feel like I'm being hypocritical? But I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Can't promise I'll be back, but I'm trying really hard to get back into the video making mood. I'm gonna start posting exactly on schedule, guys. I promise. I'm just getting better one day at a time. It takes a lot more than you think to make these videos. I wouldn't say it's hard, but it's just really time consuming. So I'll see you all tomorrow. Probably. Good night, everybody!